Hey everyone, welcome to the course. In this video, we are going to learn more about cloud phones. Now, since you have set up a full-blown application, now you might want to collaborate with your colleague or your friend to debug something or to develop something together. So let's see how cloud phones can help you in this. So by default, local stack is an ephemeral environment. That means once you terminate your local stack instance, all state will be discarded. So here comes cloud pods. Cloud pods are a mechanism that allows you to take a snapshot of the current state of your local stack instance and easily share it with your team members. In addition, local stack also provide a remote storage backend that can be used to store the state of your running application and share it with your team members, which we will discuss about in the later videos. So in this video, we will focus on community cloud pods. So let's see the demo. So you get two commands, save and load. Save command is to save the container state in a cloud pod and load command is to load the saved state into your running local stack container at any given time. So let us first start by creating some AWS resources. We are going to create S3 bucket and SQS queue. Awesome. Now let's try to list the buckets. Now we are going to save the state by using the save command. This command takes a file URL as an argument and creates a zip file in the specified directory. Assuming that we want to create a port named awesome port in the current folder, we are going to run the following command. Cool, so it has already created a file. Now you can share this file with your colleagues so that they can restore the same state and start working on it. You can share it directly or maybe through GitHub. Now, for instance, let me stop my current local stack container. So this will destroy all the resources which I created. And now I'm going to start my local stack container again. Now let's see if we have any buckets in this. So I can see that I do not have any bucket. Now let's try to load the previous state. Cool, so now this prompt says that cloud pod successfully loaded. So now let's try to list the buckets. And I can see the test bucket, which was created in my previous state. So congratulations, now you have successfully learned to save and load a cloud pod. So I hope you enjoyed this course. In the upcoming course, we are going to discuss about local stack advanced features and use cases. If you have any question, you can always reach out to us at community Slack, which is slack.localstack.cloud. Thank you so much for watching.